So if you want to gather around, if you're interested, if not, grab me later on and we can have a chat. But uh, if Ryan scrolls down a little bit on this page until we get to, so back up, just click on Thimble at the top there. And then scroll down to get started. Pick a project. And then scroll down until we get to the Make a Meme project, is one of the really simple ones to get people started. That's the one. And then, so this is Thimble. Uh, they're all laid out around this same format where you've got the left hand pane is commented HTML and CSS. And then on the right, it's rendered live as you type. So, this is a bit of you know, training wheels, you're not starting with a complete <coughs> a blank sheet of paper, you've got something to get yourself, uh, get started with. So, for more confident or older learners, they can read through the commented code and follow it, or, if we've had, we've tested this with Coda Dojo with uh, children as young as five or six, and it will, I'll talk you through something that's, you know, we can do with kids that age. Actually, if you turn the hints off, just so they don't get in the way of uh, this disappear, massive. So, for an example, let's make a web page for tonight. So, if Ryan goes to the Raspberry Pi Eventbrite page and then copy location for that image, go back into Thimble, and then here's an image tag in the in the code. So, if he gets rid of that and pastes in the image from the Eventbrite page. There it appears straight away. If he scrolls down a bit, let's do this really quickly, and just in the header one tag, if he just deletes um, the top caption, because we don't need that. <coughs> Although I was going to get you to edit the bottom one and put we love Raspberry Pi, or the hashtag, or what's the hash, hash Raspberry Jam, or welcome to Moz London Raspberry Pi, or something like that. <coughs> and then scroll down a bit further, so the colour, let's change that to pink maybe. Let's see how that comes out. That's a bit light actually. Deep deep pink or fuchsia or what's deep pink I think we'll C six hundred nine one. Try that, go on then. Uh, what was it? C six hundred nine one. Oh, that's not yeah. bad. That'll do for a raspberry. <laughs> like that. And then if you scroll down a little bit further and again until we get to where we can just move this text down slightly, so add a few pixels onto that. Uh, the next one up, it's header two, I think. So padding top, change that to 270 or something. I don't know. A bit more space. Click publish. <coughs> Are you sure? Yeah, that goes onto the web. There's your URL. So. You can point your granddad who lives on the other side of the world, you can point your friends in the playground. That's a piece of the web that you have created. Anyone who's watching this can now go to that URL if you want, which is thimble.webmaker.org slash p slash jjs, and you should get that page. That's, you've moved, if you were talking about change, you know, turning from just reading to writing or consuming to creating. This is a tool that can get you doing it in however long we've just taken, five minutes, mm. something like that. So, and this is a suite, one of a suite of tools that we're building uh, underneath the WebMaker tools. So we've got Thimble that's just launched. There's Popcorn Maker, which is for editing video and making responsive web pages that sit around video. Um, Hackersaurus that's been up a while. So come and have a chat. This is a big area of focus for Mozilla going forward, and uh, we we'd love to get Bootstrapper running on a Raspberry Pi. We'd love to get a browser running on a Raspberry Pi that we can get kids creating and not just consuming on the web. So yeah, that's it.